Hello everyone, I am Ranjit from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we will see on how to create a custom workflow in CDGC. In our last video, we have covered on steps to create a custom workflow and how to import the add-on bundles to cloud application integration. So here, we will directly jump onto the demo on creating a process in cloud application integration and using the same in Metadata Command Center. In order to create a new process in application integration, navigate to application integration and then click on new. Select process and give create. Here the users can create their own custom processes and the same can be used in the custom workflow in metadata command center. So here we will see on the manage asset three step approvals provided by Informatica. So in the first step, we have to enable the allow anonymous access under start. And this is the prerequisites to create a custom pro workflow in CDGC. And next to start, we have to provide milestone. And then we can create the human tasks where the users will be approving the assets. So in this workflow, we have added the first approver. So once the first approver approves the asset, it will move to second approver. Else if the approver is returning the asset, it will go back to edit user. Or if, if the asset is rejecting the asset, then the asset will go to the end state. So similarly, the second approver will have the same options like either he can approve, reject or return. So if he is approving the asset, then it will move to the final approver. Else it will go back to the first approver or it will go to the edit user to to add the details or alter the asset. So once the final approver approves the project, it will move to the end state. So once the workflow process is created, click on validate. And once the assets were validated, we can save the asset and then once the asset is once the process is saved, we can publish the process. And only the published process can be used in the custom workflow in Metadata Command Center. Once the process is created in application integration, navigate to Metadata Command Center. And here choose configure and navigate to workflows and click plus. And here we will create a custom workflow for business term. And for event type, we will choose create and change. And we will choose the business term as this asset. And once the details are provided, click on next. And here we will select the process. And here we will see the all the process that were created in application integration. and select the process and se give select. So once the process is imported, we will be able to see the task and input fields. And here in task, we have to provide what are all the actions needs to be performed when the, when the approver provides approve, reject or return. And since this is a three step approvals, we have to choose no change for first and second approver. And once the details for task are provided, navigate to input fields and provide the values. And here I will choose governance administration approvers. Once 
Once the details are provided, click on save to save the custom workflow. Now we will navigate to data governance and catalog. So click on new to create a new business term. Once the asset is created, by default it will go to draft state. So now we will click on send for approval. So this will create a ticket for workflow approval process. So here we can see the asset is moved to first approvers queue. So here we can start the process and approve the asset. So once the first approver approves the asset, it will move to the second approver. And in case if the second approver returns the asset, it will come back to first approver's queue. And once the first approver reviews the asset and re-approves the asset, then again it will move to second approver's queue. And once the second approver approves the project, it will go to final approvers queue and by this time we will be seeing like the asset is in review status and it is not published and once the final approver approves the pro pro asset it will be the asset will be published Now we will see how the reject works. So I am trying to add a change in description. Now here the first approver approves the project and in second approver's queue the uh, second approver has rejected the project so now the asset will be moved to dra draft state. So now the edit user can update the necessary changes and then save it again and again send for approval. So since now the second approver rejected the task and it came to edit user and, uh, and the user has provided the necessary changes and it will again go, go, be, go back to first approver's queue. And once the first approver approves the project it will go to second approver's queue uh, and then to final approver. And once the final approver approves the project then the business term will be published with the changes. We would love to hear feedback from you. Thanks for watching.